Today, uh, we'll discuss an easy mnemonic to remember the causes of membranous nephropathy. So the membranous nephropathy can be broadly classified into primary and the secondary type. Uh, so this primary is the most common type. It usually occurs in 75 to 80% of the patients. And the secondary membranous nephropathy occurs in 20 to 25% of the patients. So the primary membranous nephropathy is uh, usually idiopathic. Uh, in this condition, there will be the presence of uh, one of the following antibodies. So there can be antibodies against the phospholipase A2 receptor antigen, which is a most common type of the antibody. And there can also be the antibody against the thrombospondin type 1 domain containing 7A. So the mnemonic to remember these antibodies is uh, the primary membranous nephropathy where TH from the is for thrombospondin and PR from primary is for phospholipase receptor. So now let's move to the secondary uh, membranous nephropathy. So the mnemonic to remember the causes of uh, secondary membranous nephropathy is ABCD triggers secondary membranous nephropathy where A is for autoimmune diseases like SLE, RA, IgG4 related disease and Jogren syndrome. B is for bi no, biological agents like bacteria, virus, parasite or protozoa. Like membranous nephropathy can be seen in the cases of syphilis, in cases of hepatitis B or hepatitis C infection, in case of the HIV infection and in patients with schistosomiasis and malaria as well. So C is for cancer. So this membranous nephropathy can occur in both solid as well as uh, hematological malignancy. So basically these uh, adenocarcinoma and this squamous carcinoma, uh, they usually cause the membranous nephropathy and it's usually more common in the malignancies of the lungs and the colon and in some cases the breast and prostate as well. And uh, uh, among the hematological malignancies, membranous nephropathy can be seen in the patients with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So the uh, D is for drugs. So the drugs which can cause membranous nephropathy include gold, penicillamine, NSAIDs, acid, anti-TNF therapy, and captopril. Uh, so if the next category of the membranous secondary membranous nephropathy can occur in the uh, transplant patients uh, it may be related to the transplant transplant uh, like uh, membranous nephropathy can occur in as a transplant glomerulopathy it can occur in cases of the graft versus host disease and also in the patients with the hematopoietic stem cell transplantation so thank you